This is the solution to written homework 27. <clears throat> okay. So, the fact that we want it, we're looking for a line which is parallel to that one, well, that tells us what the slope of the line we're looking for is. So the slope of the line we were given, so we start with 3x and then plus 4y, equal 5, so 4y equals negative 3x plus 5, so y is negative 3 fourths x plus 5 over 4. This tells us that the slope is negative 3 fourths, that value. <coughs> So now we have a point and a slope. So now we can come up with the equation. y minus y1 is m multiplied by x minus x1. So y minus 6 is negative 3 fourths x minus 3. So y minus 6 is negative 3 fourths x plus 9 fourths. So y is negative 3 fourths x. And then 9 fourths plus 6. Well, 6 is 24 fourths <clears throat> and then 24 plus 9 is 33 so plus 33 fourths okay so as a that's the answer to the question but just as a brief sketch We were given a red line, which does something like this. And we were requested to find <coughs> another line which passes through uh, this point up here, so 3, 6. And we found it. For this one, the sketch is really helpful because now the line that we're given is x equal to 6. So that's a line right here. It's a vertical line. So x is 6. And then the point 2, 4, 2, 4 is here. Well, that's a vertical line, so a parallel line must also be vertical. So that's the line we're looking for, and that is the line x equal to 2. So x equal to 2 is the answer to part B.